You're listening to the Noisy Neighbors podcast. Pep Guardiola and his contract. So Pep's contract is due to expire at the end of this season. So it was, it's end of the 2020-2021 season. Um, there's been a lot of rumors flying around. Obviously, this is going to bring up you know, just massive media attention, all kinds of stuff. He's already been here longer than he stayed at other clubs. You normally, normally only stays three. He's been here five, um, which that's a crazy – it doesn't feel like five, but like hell yeah, he's been here five years. Um, so kind of the rumors flying around right now are we should know soon, you know, in air quotes, uh, or inverted commas, if you're listening to me on the other side of the Atlantic. Um we should know whether or not he's going to agree to an extension. The kind of, I guess, contradicting stories that are out there is he's going to sign a traditional contract or he's going to sign a rolling year-on-year deal. Mm-hmm. So I guess we can kind of just pro and con this thing. First of all... Which one are we, are we proing and conning? The rolling idea? I think we can pro and con both of them. So, so okay. if you've if you've got if you've got a rolling contract, um, I'll start off with the easiest con you can find about it. it there is no stability mm. because at any any year he could be gone. So if if he's buying players and players are like hell yeah, I'm gonna join City next year. It's gonna be dope. Me, Pep Guardiola. Here we go. And then Pep's like ah, turns out I want to leave. That player has is has it's a Pep Guardiola style player that's been brought in that wanted to play with Pep and then mm-hmm. Pep leaves and if we bring another manager in that doesn't quite fancy that guy, it's yeah. potential money wasted. Well, the the question also is, do you even get that player with the uncertainty around Pep's contract? Right? Does yeah. that player say, "I need to know he's going to be there for three years"? Or else I'm not coming, right? But that just another right, wrinkle, mate. Right, right. Because Pep could change his mind too. Like Pep could say, like, no, I'm not. I don't plan on leaving. This is just the deal we have. And then you know something goes squirrely. You know, say say he wants to go manage somewhere he hasn't managed before. Say he wants to go to Italy. Yeah. Well, you know, if 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 AC Milan or Inter Milan or Juventus come in, or at this point, probably not Napoli. Actually, don't think he'd. <laughs> Work with De La Rennes. Um If one of those clubs comes knocking uh, and they're knocking on the door with a bag of cash, uh, you can see Pep being like, ah, well, haven't won that one yet. Might as well go do it. Yeah. After he's already told a player, no, nah, dude, I'll be here. Don't worry. <laughs> it's fine. Yeah, I'm, I struggle to see the, the real difference. Um whether he has a contract or not in in terms really? of him leaving, right? Because, you know, contracts are, you know, broken all the time. Um, I feel like he's got such a relationship with the, the management team, you know, and, and you know, they're clearly friends, right? Cheeky, Ferran, um, Khaldun, that if Pep had a contract for, say, two or three years, but at the end of this year or the end of next year said I'm ready to I'm ready to go it's not working out I'm ready to go he just leaves yeah I mean they're all agreeable I think they're all agreeable mm, in that way I don't know uh, that it, oh no you disagree uh, yeah because you look it makes the club look like a pushover yeah if you've signed the best manager in the world to a contract you expect him to fulfill that contract you can't just be like all right friend out the door because you've still that's the whole point of the contract I mean, it's it's. I I just I don't I don't see the positive in the rolling thing. I think mm. even if it's just a even if it's just a um like an outside like a thing to give outside people confidence, like mm. doing a traditional contract. I think that's the way to go because at least then players, agents know like all right, well the contract is set to expire here. Pep's agent, which I'm pretty sure is his brother yeah. or his dad, isn't going to be like going to other players' managers. Well, I would hope not, and be like, 
hey, I know the contract says I'm here until 2024, but really I'm probably going to try to leave at the end of this season. Would your guy want to go live in Turin? You know what I mean? Like I don't – I just don't – I don't I don't see the benefit of a rolling contract. So the, let's take on the rolling contract for a minute. For me, I think – that all depends on your perspective. Mm-hmm. You could look at a rolling contract as a indefinite contract, right? He's here indefinitely. He's just got, it's like, um, you know, your wife, both our wives are teachers, right? And mm-hmm. they're typically on rolling year contracts. Yep. And the assumption really is that you, you stay in, yep. you know, it's an indefinite deal. You just indefinitely stay in. And I think a, a more positive outlook for a rolling 12 would be, oh, he's here indefinitely. Right, or you could look at it from the other perspective, which is he could leave after every single year, right? And that's I think it's just the way you look at it. Yeah. Um, so I'm pretty calm on on the, on this Pep contract situation. I think the folks who are getting uh, nervous about it are the ones that care that the media brings it up all the time, right? Yeah, that's right. I particularly don't care. Because he'll yeah. just swat, swat it away all the time. You can ask as many times as you want. He'll, he'll have a stock answer and he'll just brush it aside, you know. <laughs> yeah. And it's, it's no big deal. I don't get riled up because of, of, of the media pinging that question to him all the time. Right. Um, so for me, I think I like, actually like the idea of the rolling 12. and Because for mm. me, as, as sort of in a positive mind frame, I'm going, oh, he's here indefinitely. And that sort of makes sense based on the relationship he has with the management team, um, that he would just be here as long as they wanted him and he wanted to be here, which seems to be, um, certainly the management team, I, th- I think, wants him to stay for indefinitely. Ever. Yeah, um, yeah. So I'm not really bothered by it too much, mate. Um, what's your level of anxiety over it, it being unresolved right now? So I don't think he's leaving. Mm. I'm not worried about that. I, I am more worried about the structure of the deal. I, I tend to lean, just because okay. of the nature of the sport, I tend to lean more on that the rolling deal means he could leave at any time. Mm. Um, we saw almost the unthinkable happen this summer where Lionel Messi has a rolling contract with Barcelona. And Lionel Messi said, yo, I want out. And he said mm-hmm. it just before the season was about to start. Mm-hmm. So it's that's one thing to happen with a player. If that were to happen with a manager, oh boy, I, it it just it would throw it would it would throw a spanner in the works. Um, it would it it up it, it it's an upheaval for the entire club. And I, I just think the lack of certainty there makes me nervous about things. I'd rather yeah. him. Like I'd rather just if if it's gonna if he's gonna be there indefinitely and that's what they feel inside the club, cool. Then just keep signing three year contracts. I don't care. Um, yeah. But but doing this thing of where every nine months we're gonna get Willy Wony stories, mm. and and that kind of stuff does. I mean, I, I assume it has to have some sort of effect on players either at this club or players that are looking to come to this club. Because if a player is looking to come to this club and he's like, what is Pep going to do? And Pep's like not saying anything to anybody because right. he's just, he's, that's just how he's just an inverted introverted guy. And he's like, well, I'm not going to leave. Um, but he can't, he can't tell that to people because then that leaks to the media and then he's got to answer it and press it. You know, it's just, it just turns into a whole thing. Yeah. So for, for me, I'd, I'd rather just see, just give me three year contracts, you know, continually, and then, uh, yeah, just leave it at that. Okay, give me a second. I gotta fix my light. Good lord, this thing just turned up to a million. You look great, pal. By the way, thanks. You're a bit over, you're a bit overexposed now, but yeah, the light just like <laughs> randomly turned up. I'm pretty sure my house is on it. <laughs> Uh, so I'm, this is the part where I'm supposed to vamp and, you know, tell jokes and all that stuff. Uh, he's okay. the funny one, You're by the way. It. So You're crushing it. Uh, my, right. If my video Sick. would have, my lights would have gone out, that would have been better. You, you nailed it, dude. You did so good just then. <laughs> Cheers. Thank you very much. Yeah, no problem, dude. Uh, Damn. What a good show we are. This is professional shit, yeah. dude. Some people yeah. are like, oh, those guys are idiots and they yeah. don't know what they're doing. And they have an American. Yeah, well. <laughs> 
I love it. Um, Fic- fixed it on the fly. This is live broadcasting. <laughs> so I'm going to wrap this up, mate. Go for um, it. I'm chill. I'm tranquilo on the pep contract situation. The number one reason I'm chilled out on this is my man Caldoon. My man Caldoon is not going to let Pep's contract situation affect this club. Um, if there's a whiff that the current players are tuning out, they tune in Guardiola out, he'll right. know. Right. If there's a whiff that players are not coming to Manchester City because of Pep's contract uncertainty, he will know. Right. And the guy has been pure class mm-hmm. since since the takeover, um, and he's a smart, smart man. Uh, and he's not necessarily, you know, his allegiance isn't necessarily to you know cheeky Ferran Pep. It's to the right. club. Uh, yeah. So we've we've got an insider, mate, and, <laughs> and he's, he's the most a, powerful of the lot. And he's got um, a pretty he's got a pretty uh, he's got a pretty powerful boss too. Yeah, yeah, yeah. <laughs> It's a lot of pressure. <laughs> so I trust Caldoon. Yeah. I trust Caldoon on the Pep contract situation that that whatever happens will be the best for the club. Um and so he's he's our man on the inside, pal. Yeah. I'm not worried about whether or not Pep resigns. I I'm just more concerned about how it shakes out. But yeah. yeah. Caldoon will figure it out. I'm not I'm not gonna lose sleep over it, that's for damn sure. Um so yeah, I think that's it, huh? Pep staying. So, so far, we've figured out the attack and Pep is staying. Uh, killing it. Can't see yeah. any way how this comes back to bite us in the ass later. Ew. Especially since this is recorded in audio and video now. Yeah. Uh, so, that rules. We will not end up as memes. Definitely not. Couldn't happen. No. Won't do it. Can't do it. So, uh, yeah, let's take one more break. When we get back, we're going to talk probably the thing most people wanted to listen for. We got Spurs coming up this weekend. So, hang tight.